Book two, number 10, Lully Gavotte. You'll notice that we often mention the name of the composer when we're talking about a gavotte or a minuet. It's because there are so many of them, especially when you're working in book three. So uh, practice calling it Lully Gavotte, okay? It's gonna help you, I promise. Then when you hit book three and you have Martini Gavotte and Becca Gavotte and Bart Gavotte in D major and Bart Gavotte in G minor, you'll know that Lully Gavotte is the one with third position in it. So we're going to start with this idea. Okay, get a nice ringing third finger on your E string. Play it two times. Hop up. Cool. Make sure that when you shift to third position, your thumb is nice and loose and that your whole hand moves as one idea. So it's like I'm grabbing my whole hand and just moving it up. Very easy. Again, third finger on E. Shift up and put one on. And we want that ringing tone. If it's not ringing, it's wrong. Okay, the A should make your A string ring in sympathy. Try again. Come up. Great. If you need more practice with this idea, your book one, Allegro, is an awesome piece to sort out those ringing third fingers. So let's see if we can do five busy, busy stop stops. Tucka tucka stop stop, tucka tucka stop stop, tucka tucka stop stop, tucka tucka stop stop. Ready? Go. Shift. 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 Two. Shift. Three. Shift. Four. Shift. Great. And if you need to do more, if you just started to get a ringing tone, just press pause and you can do it 10 more times. I promise not to tell anyone. Hmm. Now that we've found out where third position is, do you think we could do this? Easy, ready, try. Cool, try again. Three on, E shift. Did you notice I shifted while I was playing E? Mm, it's a really handy habit. Shift now. Because then I can just drop my first finger on. Try again. Shift. Good. Try a little faster. Ready. Play. Ready. Play. Ready. Play. One more time. Wow. That's some really good ear training. Now see if you can do this. Easy, try again. Mm hmm. Hmm, that sounds a bit familiar. Aha! That's what we're practicing. It's a sneaky little chunk of Lily Gavotte that happens in bar 22 and again in bar 26. You ready? Try again. Shift! And again. Shift! One more time. You are always shifting while you're playing the E string, right? Don't wait. Shift while your bow is playing the open E. One more time, just in case you forgot. Ready? Play. Shift. Super. Now, that might be where you need to stop today. Hop off. Go and practice that 25 times. Or maybe you're ready to add on. Okay. When you get your hand to third position, we're going to leave the one on. Get your super glue working underneath that first finger. Drop three on. Put two right beside it. Let me hear the one again. Ah, oh, great. Let's do that again. The one is on. It's got super glue underneath it. Drop your third finger on. Put the two right beside it. And now you can take the third finger off. Now play the one again. Cool. I'll give you the other view. Here's my one that rings. Drop the three on, squish the two beside it. Now the one. Ooh, very good. Let's try. Ready, play. Three, two, one. Ready, play. Three, three. Ooh, one more time. Ready, play. Ooh, very good. Now, do you think we could stick our first chunk to our second chunk? Okay, let's try. Ooh, 
Cool. If you're looking at your music at home, this is bar 22. E, F sharp, G sharp, E, A, C, B, A. Okay, again, ready, play. Shift. Now you get to go back to first position. How easy is that? Get your G sharp ready, a nice high two. And then a stretch all the way back to F natural. Whoa, nice, it's a tone and a half difference. High two, low one. We can do that, that's easy. We are so good at playing that F natural already from practicing it in two grenadiers and witches dance and give up for mignon. Ready? Ready, go. Good, make sure your thumb is nice and loose on the back. Ready, go. Let's try sticking it all together. E, one, two, shift, one, three, two, one, two. Ah, new chunk. Ten notes. Ready, play. How did you go? That's okay, we're going to do it again. Relax. Ready, play. High two, low one. Fantastic. One more time for good luck. Ready, play. Shift. Super. If anything gets a bit out of whack, like if you're shifting it is a bit cranky or odd or weird, just go back to the easiest idea again. Of moving your whole hand up. And checking that your shift is awesome, because if that shift works, the rest of this phrase is pretty easy. Hmm, what happens if I play the bar before? This bit. Yeah, let's do that. Ready, and. Oh, we're just recycling that old, old idea from two grenadiers. They're playing. But then stop your bow, head up the mountain. Go again. Ready, play. Mountain. One more time. Ready, play. Make sure your second finger's tucked in really nicely, okay? B, C, D. Ready, play. Next little bit. We know this. E, one, two, E. Shift. Shift. That's everything we've worked on so far, all joined up. Let's do it again. Ready? From bar 21, and. Shift. Shift. I just want to add the next two notes on. Is that all right? They're easy because they're just walking back down the mountain. Can you hear it? One more time. Okay, let's play all the way from the yum bar, climb up the mountain, come halfway back down. Ready, and. Shift. Shift. Very good. Now the next little bit is so, so easy. I like this bit so much. Get your second finger on and play me. Ready, go. Ready, go. Make sure you leave the two on, have that dot of super glue under the tip of your finger. Ah, there it is again. I like the recycling. Then we keep walking down the mountain. A, three, two, one, D. Did you have a good fourth finger that rang? I really hope so. Let me hear. Okay, make sure it rings. It's really important because that's an octave, E down to E. We've got to have both of those notes well in tune because we want to sound beautiful, right? Lots of ringing tone. Hmm. I'm going to play from the ha, da, ba, ba, ba. And then you might go, oh, I'm just going to practice my shift to third position a couple more times. Or you might feel ready to play it along with me. Here's the demonstration. Yes, 
I'm stopping my bow and I'm distorting the rhythm a little bit just for setting up fingers. I kind of want this in clumps of four notes. As you get more confident, of course, we kick those stops out and we have taka, 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 stop, stop. Very even and steady. Ready? Let's go up the mountain from the A, A. <laughs> Let's do it again. Ready, play. Did you notice I'm using tiny bows? That's part of how I'm able to go so quickly. That and lots of practice in little chunks. So you might want to stop and play just And then you can add the next four notes. And you might do that 10 times, okay? Be prepared, get your 10 magnets out and count them all across to the other side of the stand, or get your 10 pegs out and clip them on as you successfully work through your repetitions. Then you're ready to add the next four notes, right? And you might do that 10 times, okay? And then the next day, you feel like I can tackle the next four notes now. Okay, so stuff like this is great to practice in chunks. And it's such a good technique to learn here in book two, right? Cool. Let's see. If you're feeling really confident with that mountain climbing, let's see if you can do it twice extra stamina. So the first time we have our bow circle, mountain climb, shift, shift, climb back up. Then a little echo, A2, your mountain ascent and descent all worked out that's a really good chunk of the piece to practice okay I'm going to play from the beginning so you can hear how it all joins up is that oh you know what before I play from the beginning let's practice this bit together yeah okay bar eight starting with a down bow check that your bow is really nicely balanced on the G string and that your third finger is on its tip Bring your elbow through so your third finger can be on its tip, please. Ready, play. Hop. Four. Low two. Up. Up. Down. Whoa. How good is all that tricky bowing? I love it. Let's play just this bit. Ready, play. Easy. Okay, let's add one note on. Three, 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 go. Oh, this is too easy, one note at a time. Let's do that again. Okay, let's add the next note on. Get your fourth finger ready to jump. Yes, this is a bit like an elephant lumbering along, I think, like big, deep steps. Go. Cool, and again. Ringing fourth finger, please. Ring, ring, ring. Get your two on, and we're going to add the next bow on. So we're adding two more notes because they're slurred together like this. Yep, ready, play. Don't forget to squish your one in. Go. One more time, play. Super. Now let's add that chunk on. Great, again, ready, set. Woo, one more time. 
Now we're going up, up, and rolling our bow back to G. Again, set your low two on, roll across. Yeah, my arm's going to come up and help me get my bow back across to the G string. Okay, my elbow does need to lift. It's following my hand as I lift the bow up. Ready, play. Cool. Can we add it on? Ya da 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 da, ya da da. Ready, play. Wow, let's go again. Just make sure the bowing's right. Ready? And down, up, up. Very good. Let's practice our next bow. Oh, we have to fit three different sounds in there. I like this one. It's like grace notes on the end. Like tripping over at the last minute. Make sure one's snuggled right up to your two. Good. F natural and E natural are our friends. Go. One more time. Ready, play. Okay, can we add that bow on? Da 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 da. Let's do it. Singing is good. You don't have to be an opera singer, but getting your voice to just make some noise so that your brain goes, oh yeah, okay, that's what I'm doing. Really helpful. Ready, play. Down. Down. Woo! Let's go again. All those nice long slurs. Down. Up. Up. Cool. Next day that phrase. Up. Up. Easy. Go again from the tip of your bow. Push. Yes, go again. Ready, and. That's our new thing to add on. Let's try it in the start again. Ready, play. One, two, three. One, two, three. Woo, super. Just a tiny bit left now. Should we just do the tiny bit? Yeah, okay, let's do the tiny bit. Oh, it's got a really quick string crossing. Hmm, slow motion maybe. Cross with the three. D. Again. One more time. Did you stop your bow? You have to stop your bow before you cross strings. It's really important. Go again. Yes. I think it's okay to give that note a little bit of a kick right now while you're learning it. I don't really want you to play like that's vicious. But when you're learning, stop and connect to the G really well. And then as you get better and better at it, you just smooth it out a bit. Because then it gets faster, which is the best ever. Okay. Let's see if we can stick all the bits together. If you're not ready to yet, that's fine. Just soak it up, okay? Sit back, listen. Ready, me. One, two, three. Cross. Did you get your hiccup in? Let's do it again. Ready, and. for the start to the end because I feel like the rest of this is nice and easy and just slots around those two tricky bits that we've already practiced. So ready to play along with me or ready to listen and soak it up? Ready and... Mm -hmm. 